The travel and tourism industry is already feeling the impact of the outbreak of the coronavirus, which continues to spread globally as countries take stern measures to contain the virus. The International Air Transport Association warning that globally, airlines could lose an upward of up to 11.3 trillion shillings due to flight cancellations and reduced bookings. African airlines could lose up to 400 million shillings. If you look at China, Africa is trading a lot with China. In terms of revenues, uh, 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 with China, African airlines uh, uh, are doing 5% of their revenues and 7% uh, in Asia uh, Pacific. So it means 12% uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Asia. So the coronavirus um, uh, will have an impact on the trading between Africa and uh, uh, China. Speaking during a media forum, African Airlines Association Secretary General Abderrahman Bertel said that while the current test is a global one, African Airlines have for decades faced unique historical challenges that have been aggravated by the lack of a common understanding between countries. So far we have 33 countries, states, which have signed uh, the SATA. But uh, very limited uh, uh, countries have really implemented uh, the, the SATAM. We have uh, 17 or uh, 18 uh, states which have signed a memorandum of implementation. Only Ethiopia and Kenya have signed the single African air transport market agreement in East Africa. But AFRA says interim measures like budget airlines may offer temporary reprieve. Only low cost airlines. Africa, in South Africa and uh, East Africa. The South African uh, ones are uh, domestic operators. Uh, we have, uh, in Kenya, we have one jumbo jet, which is uh, doing uh, very well. And um, I think Satan also will have as consequence to develop low-cost carriers. If you look at Europe, for example, low-cost uh, operators like uh, EasyJet, Ryanair, they come up after the liberalization. At the same time, the lobby group is optimistic that auxiliary trade plans like the African Continental Free Trade Area can spur progress in the sector to realize sustained growth. With African Airlines employing up to 50,000 people and injecting about 10.3 billion US dollars into economies, African Airlines are now being advised to mitigate against the current turbulence by deploying alternative methods. Alan Naoko reporting for Channel 1 Business in Nairobi.